Hello? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's going on? So I was talking. Sir, my name is Alex Riley, and I'm calling you from the Windows Technical Department about your computer. I believe I'm talking to Mr. O Mr. Richard Martin. Yes. Sir, off late, we are receiving reports about your computer. That whenever you go online at that computer to check your emails in Facebook, the online stuff from that computer, that point of time your computer is downloading the online infected file, sir, which is corrupting the hard drive of your computer and the software part also, and which is, has been sent our technical department alerts to our main server continuously for the past few weeks. And we have sent you the warning also to make you aware, but we didn't re get response from your side. So that is the reason we called you. Well, is it possible to send somebody out to my house? Uh, no, sir. It's uh, impossible to send any technician, Microsoft technician, to your house because we have 80 million people who are <coughs> having a problem. We have, giving, we have many Google contact centers all across the world, sir. We're getting this call from the, one of the Google contact centers. Um, so you're in Washington, D.C. then? We are calling you from the London, U.K., sir. Oh, okay. Um, how did it go in Scotland? Do you know, did, did they, um, get, uh, voted yes or no? Okay. So, sir, that's the reason we call you, because we are getting continued. You're calling me about Scotland? Sorry? You're calling me about Scotland? No, sir. I'm talking about your computer. Oh. Which color computer are you talking about? Is it my white one or my black one? Sorry, I'm talking about the computer which belongs to, your com to you. Well, I have two. I have a white one and a black one. I'm talking about the Windows operating computer that you use with the internet. How much does the internet cost a month? Because I don't even have the internet. You don't have internet? No, I don't. You don't? No, I do not. Then how these virus get downloaded into your computer? Um. And why your computer sending the alerts if you don't use the internet? Well, I don't know. That's pretty interesting. I mean, you know, like when I send an email, I, I will print it out on on my printer and then I'll take that email and then I um, put it in an envelope and I mail it through the U the United States Post Office. So I don't know. I understand that other thing you do. But the question is how do you how your computer is sending the alert if you don't have an internet connection? And how does virus get downloaded into your computer if you don't use the internet in that computer? I don't know. You know, I mean, there's been a lot of um, NSA activity in my neighborhood. You, you know what the NSA is? No, sir. The NSA is the National Security Agency, and they've been monitoring my house. And I think they're monitoring this phone call, and they're tracing it back to you. So I, you know, you got, you you got to be careful because you know they might be tracing you. You know, I walk around right now with tin foil on my head. No problem, sir. Because we are not doing a scamming people, so we are going to get afraid. Okay, we are a legible person that you are talking, so we are not getting scared. Well, you sound like a le a legitimate person because you don't sound like a robot. You know, I mean, you don't. You know, uh, a robot goes like, hey. How are you doing? So you sound like a person, so um, I'm not going to lie about that. If this call has been tracing, no problem. Okay. If you want our address, we will provide you. If you want our cell phone number, our telephone number to call back, to verify this number, this call is virtual or not, you can, we will give each and every information that you need. So first of all, the question is, that if you don't use the internet in that computer, your both computer, then how could your virus get downloaded into your computer? And how your computer is sending the alerts to a main server? The question is that, sir. 
Well, you know, it might be that when um, they set it up at um, at, at Data Doctors, um, you know, maybe somehow they, um, or, you know, I had it to Data Doctors, I had it to Best Buy, I had it to Office Max, I had it to Staples, you know, because nobody could figure out the problem with it, why I couldn't connect to the Internet. And then they told me that I didn't even have an Internet connection. And and that's why it wouldn't work. But maybe when they were looking at it, maybe they hooked it up to the Internet, and maybe um, they um, put the virus on there. So you're saying that you don't have the Internet connection in your computer, right? In, in, in my house, no. Okay. Uh, the data that we are getting from the main server about your computer are the wrong. Um, what kind of information are you getting? You, you, you obviously know my name. What else are you getting? Your name is registered on the technical department by a license key, which has been provided by the Microsoft to you when you purchase the computer. Okay. We have your cell number. We have your residence address, which has been provided to you, which has been <coughs> registered on technical department. Okay. And the information which is your computer downloading the online infected file and the viruses which is corrupting the software part of your computer. So why? It's happening that you are not using an internet in this computer. Now how could we get all the information about you and your computer? Could you explain it? Well, you know, I have like satellite TV and I accidentally connected my um, satellite cable right right to my computer to see if I could get internet and it didn't work. All I got was was a bunch of pornography channels. I understand. Oh, that happened to you too at one time? I mean, you know, it was kind of fun for a while, but you know, you know, my wife got sick of it. So you are not using the internet in that computer, right? Right. Okay. And you're both computer? No, no. I mean, um, sometimes we don't even have electricity, so I only use them about once a week. And right now, we, we just had a, a, a major rainstorm, and the streets are flooded with two inches of water, and all the electric lines are completely down. And so, you know, so I can't even turn it on. Okay, sir, I understand. Yeah. Well, we just observe. Then we will observe that why it is happening. We will check it out and why it is happening that you are not using internet. Then also your computer is sending the alerts to a main server. And we have to observe that some is somehow someone is using your <coughs> computer license key to do the internet and do the illegal activities over the internet. Okay. Well, wait, 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 wait a second though. I think I wrote my uh, license key down. Hang on, hang on one second, okay? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm back. I actually found my license key. What 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 license key do you have? Sorry. What license key do you have? The license key is of your computer, sir. Yeah. Which has been provided to you when you purchase this computer. Okay. Yeah. Well, can you tell me what the license key is, though? The, the license key is eight 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 D C A six zero. FC zero A number eleven C F eight F zero F zero zero C zero four. How do I find? Oh wait, wait. Say the last part again. Zero zero C zero four F D seven D zero six two. Huh. That's kind of funny because that was. Um, I just am looking at my notes right here, and that's the license key to the um, the old computer that I had that I I used to 
use that when I went to like um, strip clubs because they had internet access. But that's my old computer. I, I hope you're not seeing like the pictures that I took at the strip club. And I'm, talk, I'm telling that the license number is sending the alert to our main server, okay? So that's the reason we have called you. Okay, um, well, like I said, um, I can't do anything right now because we have three feet of water um, surrounding our house. I mean, it looks like, you know, like if you remember in Bangladesh, like that when it got flooded so bad that George Harrison from the Beatles had to do a concert uh, afterwards to, you know, raise money to help the people. Um, but anyway, I have to go because, you know... Um, we got water coming in our house, so um, yeah. so I mean, I need to put some sandbags out there. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's kind of like the tsunami of uh, you know Fukushima. So I gotta go. Okay, no problem. What? Scammed another scammer.